Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am French Shot Pearson, and welcome again to my channel. It is Monday. Happy Monday, November 11th of 2024, and it is Veterans Day. Yes, it is Veterans Day, and I want to tell the veterans, thank you for your service, and we pray you guys have a beautiful day with the family and friends. We honor you for your service, for your service. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And so Mr. President will be there today. In fact, he'll be going live momentarily. Yes, Joe Biden will be going live. He'll be at Arlington National Cemetery. And so today when I saw this, of course, I thought about the veterans and then I start seeing other news like Bitcoin. Bitcoin hit a, uh, I believe it's a record today. $81,000 Bitcoin. I'm thinking, wow, Joe Biden is at Arlington National Cemetery. Bitcoin hits 81,000. Joe Biden's 81 years old. And yesterday, yesterday I did the video on that guy, uh, remember? He was like, hey, Joe Biden should give up his throne and give it to Carmela. Remember this guy said that yesterday? I mean, wow. Let's look at some dates. I just thought about something. You know, this, this thing gets interesting, people, as you, as you think it through by accident or whatever, you begin to see things. You're like, wow. Now, how many days was left after that? It's 11, 10 yesterday. 11, 10, 2024. 2024. And Trump would then take the throne on 120, 2025. Now, this guy said that leaving 71 days left. Interesting. So, yeah, yesterday I did a video. And this guy, he used to work for, uh, he's a political advisor. And uh, he's like, hey, Joe should give up his throne. If you haven't checked out the video, check it out. I did it overnight. And this gentleman has the same, he has a birthday, right? His birthday is the same day that Joe Biden said he's going to drop out of the race, which I believe was July 21st. So his birthday is like July 21st, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it, 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 it's, it's an incredible video. But, but I digress. Um, a lot of things going on with uh, Joe Biden today. Bitcoin, Donald Trump, and Kamala Harris and JFK. So I did a video because all this started coming at one time. I'm like, man, are they going through a ceremony uh, at the same time trying to show us something for the future? So let's dive in. Let's dive in. So remember... Trump was at Arlington National Cemetery back in the day. Trump campaign violated rules in Arlington National Cemetery, visit cemetery, legal experts explain. And he was there laying a reef, right? And again, that date was August 26th of 2024. And uh, Trump was like, look, I was invited by the family members to come, right? I did a video on it, right? Since that visit, U.S. military burial ground outside Washington, D.C. news reports and campaign photos have emerged showing the former president grinning widely and giving a thumbs up gesture while standing behind the grave of, a, of an American serviceman killed during the 2021 U.S. evacuation from Afghanistan. Visible in those images to our degrees of two U.S. Army Green Berets. So yeah, Trump was there and it caused quite a controversy back and forth. But my point is that he's at Arlington National Cemetery. Now let's check, check this out. Here's the photograph. And I mentioned that. Now I had mentioned also that this lady was in red and that person was in black. That means sacrifice. And six people gave a thumbs up. One, two, three, four, five, six, which includes Donald Trump. 
Now, you know, when you, when you go into the grave, you go six feet under. And I believe one of the names on here was Hoover and what, Taylor, whatever, but yeah, Hoover. I think we had, uh, I, did, I, did a, I did a presidential research on that. Uh, back in the day, uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken again, whatever president that was uh, during the depression uh, Trump was standing over a gravestone of that president's of that president's name at the time. Isn't that coincidence? Uh, to me, it was like financial, right? Let's go back at that so I can kind of look at that. Who was the president during the depression? Yeah, Hoover. There you go. It was Hoover. So yeah, my my mind is pretty sharp today. I guess after no sleep, right? But yeah, Trump was there. And he's standing there, and there's Hoover. And I'm saying to myself, does that signify a financial uh, problem in the future? Is that, out of all the gravestones, out of all the gravestones he's standing next to Hoover, Hoover was on, in the Depression. He had said that if Biden gets back up in there, that is, Carmella would have a, a Depression. Remember he said that? So a lot of things going on. Now, the strange thing about it is this. Look at this, people. Look at this. He was at Arlington National Cemetery on 8 26 of 2024. And today is Veterans Day, 11 11 of 2024, and Biden's going to be there. That's 78 days ago, including the end date. 78 days ago, he was there. Okay. Donald J. Trump. He's 78 years old. Do you think this is coincidence? This is, this is, look, I, I was going to do another different story today and all of a sudden these things started making sense, quote unquote, in the spiritual realm. And then check this out. President JFK is buried there. JFK, the president that Trump admires the most, he's buried there. Right? He was buried there November 25th of 1963. Okay? Now, strangely enough, JFK is in Lot 45, Section 30. Lot 45. And Trump is the 45th president. Wow. Deep, right? So check this out. Uh, Veterans Day started November 11th, 1918. Right? Take November 11, 1918, literally. Subtracted from 11 25 of 1963, the day that they left, the day that they laid JFK to rest. The difference is 45 years. Unbelievable, right? 45 years and two weeks ago, they laid, well, between Veterans Day. First day celebration and JFK being laid to rest 45 years. That's Donald Trump's number, ain't it? Now look at this here. Remember, we had the Israeli war start on October 7th of 2023, right? Well, the anniversary next year is 10-7 of 2025. Subtracted from today, Veterans Day 11-11 of 2024, the difference is 47 weeks in one day. Trump's the 47th president. This is too deep for me on a Monday morning, don't you think? Just too deep, people, it's too deep. Too much going on in my brain, but hey, as it comes, I'll show you if I can catch it. It's deep. Now, John 3:16. For God so loved the world, hallelujah, that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believe in him shall not perish, shall not perish, but have everlasting life, right? Okay, why am I bringing that up? November 12th, which is tomorrow, is the 316th day of the year. Wowza, leaving 49 days left in a year. So I'm asking myself, is there a sacrifice coming? 
because check this out. Kamala Harris is the 49th VP and it's 49 days left in a year. Coincidence? Coincidence? Today's date, 11-11, 2024, subtracted from Donald Trump's next birthday, 6-14-2025. The difference is like July 4th, seven months and four days, or get this, 216. Come on, man, I've been showing you 216 forever. What is 216? That's August 4th. Barack Obama was born August 4th. Look at all this. Veterans Day today versus Trump's next birthday comes out to 216. Too much for me on a Monday morning. Veterans Day, 11 11 2024. Subtracted from 10 20. That's Kamala's birthday, her last birthday, 10 20, October 20th. The difference is 2 2. Like I've showed you before, and I got to keep going over this because we have new subscribers. There is a video on YouTube called I Pet Goat 2. And there's a cartoon character of Barack Obama who has a V sweating down his forehead. And what I'm saying is that V is the 22nd letter of the alphabet, right? V. After it sweats down his forehead and I pet go to the video, the American flag tears into shreds and everything behind him, everything crumbles like buildings. So Veterans Day today versus Carmela's birthday gives you 22. Interesting. Now look at this. Trump victory pushes Bitcoin past $81,000. Remember I told you the election would have, would give the market faith in a stronger economy. Remember I said that? I said that the night of the election. I said that there are few people in this world that make the stock market go crazy. And Trump is one of them. So the faith in Trump has done what? It has pushed Bitcoin up to 81000 thousand dollars well guess what uh biden is 81 years old is that coincidence which brings me to my next point march 22nd is the 81st day of the year what's 322 that's skull and bones interesting now we got this bitcoin came into fruition January 3rd, 2009. Take January 3rd, 2024, just had a birthday, Bitcoin, versus today's date, 11-11, where it went to $81,000. The difference is 44 weeks and five days. Barack Obama's the 44th president. Interesting. Now look at what Bitcoin means in Dramatra, 36. Like three sixes, 666 six, six, mark of the beast. Or reverse reduction is 45. Who used to be the 45th president? Uh, that would be Trump, right? Mm hmm. And JFK is buried in lot 45. Interesting, right? All this is going on. Think about it. JFK is buried in lot 45. Right? And the same day, Bitcoin hits $81,000. And Bitcoin comes up to 45, which also means Donald J. Trump. That's deep, ain't it? Now, I've shown this video before. I let it be self explanatory. This talks about sacrifice. This video is in relation to Trump visits a steakhouse. Watch this here. Remember that lady I showed you in black and white taking pictures? I think that's the same lady when he was at the gun shop last year. She on Tiffany Blue. That's the, that's the secondary color of the Phoenicians. Their first color is purple. Their secondary color is Tiffany Blue. Ain't nothing wrong with the colors. We can wear them, but that's how they speak. They speak through colors. See her taking pictures? Then look at this. There was another lady when he went 
uh, earlier this year, I did a video on this. Uh, he went to a Chick Chick-fil-A and a lady took pictures and her legs was crossed. Do you see that? Her legs are crossed. That's an X. Who takes a picture like that? Her legs are crossed. I always watch the lady in the camera with the camera taking pictures of Trump. Those are signs for the future. And she's got on black like she's at a cemetery. Bingo. Think about it. To me, allegedly. Who takes a picture with the legs crossed? What is the X? X is the eclipse. X is the 24th letter of the alphabet. They're going to take him out. They've been telling us for a long time. X. And Trump was standing on a red carpet. He's at Chick-fil-A. It's a deep video, y'all. Check it out. She got her legs crossed. Now, I'm saving, I'm saving something deep for last. This is what they're depicting Trump as. Literal. I'm not playing with y'all. In this video, breaking news by Forbes. Breaking news, Trump visits famous Philly Steakhouse restaurant before Philadelphia. It is a 22 minute video. I've been working on this thing for five hours. 22 minutes and 40 seconds. But watch the end. It's gonna go quick, but it's gonna blow your mind. Trump is about to get into the limo and watch what happens. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. All right, here it comes, people. Sorry about the, the wait. Watch this. If you look closely, you'll see Jesus on the window as soon as Donald Trump gets in the limo. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. What are the odds Trump would choose, his delegation would choose to have him go to this steakhouse. And there had to be a billboard right across the street that had Jesus with the halo, right? And tr the limo lined up just right. So when he opened it up, there's Jesus. If you think that's coincidence, I suggest you think again. And then as it goes further, I point out, I point out that, hey, that's, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to give us a message. And then boom, you literally see a cross on the window also. Look at that. What are the odds, people? They're lifting him up as a savior. They are lifting him up as a savior. And then in time, when they take him out, they're gonna take out the air of America and throw us into a new social order. And I'm asking myself, with all these dates and everything that's going on today, are they, are they trying to tell us something? Look at this here. Guess who's in Delaware vacationing right now? Joe Biden. It was founded December 7th, 1787. December 7, 2000, 2023, subtracted from tomorrow, 11, 12, which is what, the 316th day of the year. The difference is election day, 11, 5, isn't that something? And look at this here. Barack Obama's last birthday, August 4th, 2024, subtracted from Biden's next birthday, 11, 20 of 2024, Difference is 322, two. skull and bones. That's deep. Biden's birthday, receipts. Then look at this. 11 12, that's tomorrow, 2024. Subtracted from 2 3, 2 3, 2025. What is that? Bo Biden's birthday. Joe's son, who, who departed at 46 years old. Bo Biden's anniversary of his death next year, 2-3-2025, two, 
subtracted from tomorrow, 11-12-2024, the difference is Barack Obama's birthday, August 4th. I don't know what's going on, but between this Arlington National Cemetery thing going on today and the numbers speaking to me and this big Bitcoin of $81,000 and Joe being 81 years old, I don't know what the numbers are showing. Is it showing something in relation to Trump, Biden, uh, Israeli conflict? I don't know. All I know is one thing, I'm gonna put my faith in the Lord because this system here, it looks like they're doing rituals, if you ask me, they're doing rituals. They're trying to tell us something for the future. That's my best guess. I just want folks to be ready and alert and aware. And it all comes down to this. John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he did give his only begotten son. That whomsoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If something goes down within the next 24, 36 hours, hey, I'll do a follow-up. We'll see. But something's brewing, people. Something's brewing. And it appears to me that Bible prophecy is coming off the pages. Don't forget I have a uh, new uh, site. I'll put it in the uh, description. I'll link it there. French shot gift. I'll put it, I'll put a link in there. Please go there and subscribe. I need a backup channel. I need a thousand subscribers. And then we'll work on everything else. I need a backup because it's really hard in these times. They're going after social media people. So protect those who are trying to uh, help people get into the kingdom. God bless you and God bless America.